Welcome to System Overview. You should have your copy of the System Overview Manual handy for referral and making notes. In this session we will cover PeopleSoft install for a PC, log in and sign on procedures, password change, general keys and buttons using the menu and toolbar, and basic navigation with panel groups and panels. Now looking at your computer's desktop, there may or may not be a PeopleSoft icon. If you do not have this icon or shortcut to PeopleSoft, we will cover the steps to install PeopleSoft for a PC and create the icon. If you have a Mac computer, you will need to contact the help desk for assistance. Now let's begin with PeopleSoft software installation process. Open your internet browser. Click in the address line to highlight the address. Type quartz.laco.edu. That's q u a r t z dot l a c o e dot e d u, and press the enter key. The Citrix login screen displays. Locate and click on the link Workstation Setup. A subsequent window appears. Locate the link Install Citrix Web Client for Windows. You may need to scroll down to locate this. Click on this link. This will open a series of windows. At File Download, click Run. At the second window, click Run. You may receive a select language window that's defaulted to English. If so, click OK. Otherwise, wait for the Citrix Presentation Wizard to start the setup. This may take a few minutes. If you encounter a problem during the installation process, contact the help desk. At the next prompt, click Next. The Citrix License Agreement appears. Click the radio button to accept the license agreement and click Next. Continue to click on Next as necessary. Completing this process may take a few minutes depending on the speed of your computer. Installation progress is in indicated by the additional green bars in the Progress window. When the final window appears, click Finish. Scroll to the top of the page, locate and click Main Login Link. The Citrix login screen will appear. At this point, make a shortcut to this login screen. Right click to open the menu and move the cursor to locate Create Shortcut. Highlight and click on this choice. Click OK. Close this window. You have completed the steps to PeopleSoft installation. We will now proceed with the Citrix and PeopleSoft sign-on process. Locate and double-click the LACO PeopleSoft icon on your desktop. Important information is available on the Citrix login page. You will see System Operating Hours, and below that, the bulletin board, notices and upcoming events for a specific or all districts are listed in red by date. Use the scroll bar to review older messages listed below. You will need your pre-assigned Citrix and PeopleSoft credentials at this point. In the login section of the window at username, enter your last name, underscore, and first name. These values are not case sensitive. At password, enter Citrix in lowercase, C-I-T-R-I-X. This password does not change. Click the Login button. If this is your first sign-in, a window may appear asking you to save the information you just entered. Click Yes. Your PC will retain these values to save time during future logins. The Applications Welcome page will now appear with a series of icons and links. 
If this is your first time signing on to PeopleSoft, click the PS Config icon. This icon runs a process to configure the PeopleSoft settings. During the process, you may need to press any key to continue when the message appears. To open the PeopleSoft sign-on panel, click the PeopleSoft 763 link. At Operator ID, enter your PeopleSoft Operator ID. It is eight alphanumeric characters. This ID may be entered in lowercase but will appear in uppercase. At Password, enter your password. In accordance with Office Security Guidelines, it is necessary to periodically update your password. At this time, we will cover the procedure for a password change. Your new password must be 5 to 8 alphanumeric characters. Click on the Set Password button. If a client file security window appears, check Full Access and Never Ask Me Again. By doing so, this pop-up window will not appear again. A window appears. At New Password, enter your new password. To confirm your new password, enter it a second time. Click OK. Successfully entering your operator ID and password will activate a PeopleSoft panel. PeopleSoft panels appear as other Microsoft applications with options to resize, minimize, or maximize the open window. The X will close your open session. Let's begin to learn about the general keys and buttons using the menu and toolbar options. There are both menu choice options and toolbar choice options across the top of the open window. If inactive, they will be grayed out. As you drag your cursor across the toolbar, a brief description will pop up providing a name as to their purpose or function. By clicking on a particular menu choice, a drop-down menu will appear presenting access to the many other PeopleSoft menu option choices. Now we will look at frequently used tools on the toolbar, including optional menu choices and corresponding function keys using the keyboard. The Save button is for saving data adds and updates. You can also select File and Save on the menu or press the Enter key on your keyboard. This will complete the same function. The, the cancel icon closes out your current PeopleSoft session without saving data. Please note this action is not the same as closing out the Microsoft window which would end your PeopleSoft session. You can also select File and Cancel on the menu. Pressing the Escape key on your keyboard will also complete the same function. The next in list Previous in list and list icons allow for scrolling through open data records. The menu keystrokes under View are optional. It's your choice. In a similar fashion, the Next panel in Group, Previous panel in Group, Next panel, and Previous panel icons allow switching between panels on your open PeopleSoft window. The Insert Row and Delete Row icons are used to insert a new data line or delete an existing data line. You may choose the menu path Edit, Insert Row, or Delete Row, or simply press the F7 function key to insert a row, or press the F8 function key to delete a row. Skipping to the green plus, this icon is used to add a new record. It activates the Add pop-up window to open a blank panel for data entry. The blue check mark is used to update or modify existing data. Below the toolbar is the Tabs area. Think of tabs as a stack of papers. Each tab represents another panel or a piece of paper. Clicking on the individual tabs allows you to toggle back and forth between the various open panels or papers. At this point, we will introduce panel groups and panels. Go on the menu allows access to the PeopleSoft modules which are divided into panel groups. 
For example, when navigating to the Express Requisition Panel, selecting Go, Administer Procurement, then moving right and down to Requisition Items, will open up a new series of panels within the Procurement module. Depending upon your area of responsibility, you may have access to different available panel groups and panels which would allow you to add, update, or inquire. Using the menu bar, click on Use Express Requisitions, Express Requisition, click on Add to display a pop-up window. Leave the system defaults and click OK. A blank panel displays for adding a requisition. Depending upon your security level in PeopleSoft, these particular panels may not be available to you. If this is the case, follow along. We will show you basic concepts that apply to all PeopleSoft modules. Once in a specific panel, you will discover data entry fields and action icons some of which are free form, others restricted. Lastly, we will talk about restricted data entry fields that may be designated by drop-down arrows in the right side of the data field. Others may not have a drop-down arrow. You may enter a value or click on the drop-down arrow to call up a partial or full listing of the data. You can scroll down the listing using the right-hand scroll bar. Once you have located the desired data, highlight the value and click OK. If an incorrect value is typed in a field, the system will respond with a red field data box. A pop-up window with an error message will display. Click OK to remove the message and retype the value or select from the drop-down list to rectify the error. Let's close out the open panel. And this concludes the PeopleSoft System Overview Training Session.